Well, welcome, family, to episode two of Family Talk. I'm Miss Joyce, and this is the place where we are sharing with you some discussion questions and activities that you can use at home to extend this week's Bible lesson. Well, this week we're looking at the story of Elijah and Elisha. And that story can be found in 2 Kings chapter 2. Some of the things that the children learned this week in that story is the fact that God chose Elisha to be his prophet after Elijah. And they learned of the story of the chariot of fire that took Elijah up to heaven in a whirlwind. They also learned that Elijah was given the same spirit that gave Elijah power. We've been talking about a big picture question on uh, how many gods are there. And of course, that question has only but one answer, and that is that there is one true God who deserves our worship. Why this week? Because we see that God gives his followers or believers his Holy Spirit so that they can share the gospel with the world. Some questions that you can ask this week. One, what was the significance of Elisha parting the water? Ask them to describe someone whose faith has encouraged them. Ask the question, can we obey God by our own power? And follow up with a why or why not. Ask the question, who does God give us to help us share the good news of Jesus with the world? And the activities for this week. Come together as a family to practice sharing the gospel with each other. We'll post a resource on this site that you can use as a tool. Practice using different times and places and people that you can share the gospel with. Then finally, come up with at least two to three names that as a family, you can pray for and even talk about how to share the gospel with them and what it even means to disciple someone. Write those names on a sticky note and display, display them prominently around the house. That way, as you and or the children come across those names, you will remember to pray for that individual and as well as during the time of your personal prayer. Think of a time when you can actually practice sharing the gospel with them. Be sure to leave us some feedback here on this site to let us know if these were helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Well, this week, that's it. But next week, we'll be talking about Elisha and the army. Mm -hmm.